Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to import audio into PadShop 2 by dragging and dropping an audio file from your DAW and how to locate the audio file on your system. I'm going to open a default instance of PadShop and move my pointer here to the select sample icon. This is the user samples folder and I'm going to open it up now. And since I have created a lot of expansions for the old PatchUp Pro version, I have many folders that I've used in past projects. Okay, now I'm going to close this window and go over to my audio file that I created and import the file into PatchUp by dragging it over to the sample window here. Okay, now it has been imported into PadShop, and I'm gonna go back over to the PadShop track and play C3. All right, I can't hear anything because of the way the granular engine is set up, so I'm going to go over to the speed parameter and change the value to 100%, then change the amount of grains to two. And now I'm going to play C3 again. This is how you drag and drop audio to patch out too. Okay, so that's how you can import audio and play back the full sample in the granular engine. Now I'm going to go back to the select sample icon and open up the user samples folder. All right, now I can see the drag and drop audio wave file. Now the big question, where is that sample located? Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to open up Finder and select Users, My Name, Documents, Steinberg, Padshop, Samples, and User Samples. It would look like this. Documents, Steinberg, Padshop, Samples, User Samples. Here's all of my old Padshop Pro folders and down at the bottom is the sample that was just imported. Okay, now it's on your system. And let's say you want to create a folder for a new project that you're working on. All you need to do is create a new folder. I'll name the folder drag and drop. Okay, now I'm going to locate the new sample that was imported. Copy the sample. and paste it to the new project folder. Okay, now I'm going to rename the sample drag and drop audio 01. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the select sample icon. Now I can't find the new folder that was created because Cubase needs to be turned off and back on for our changes to be visible. So it needs to be rescanned. But for now, I can go to the sample functions icon and select load sample, then documents, Steinberg, pad shop, samples, user samples. And now I can see the drag and drop folder. And here's our new file. This is how you drag and drop audio to patch out too. Let's say I want to clean up the user samples folder, open up Finder, then delete the original file that was imported into PatchUp. Okay, that's everything for this tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are published. Cheers.